Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell how to find the angles made by a minute hand and an hour hand and uh, the distance travelled by a minute hand and an hour hand. These are from areas related to circles class 10. You can see here this is a clock and in a clock we know that there are 12 numbers and this is the minute hand and the length of the minute hand B R1 and we know that if the minute hand reaches at 1 means it takes 5 minutes and if it reaches 2 means it takes 10 minutes. Similarly, if it uh, reaches 12 means it takes 60 minutes or 1 hour. So, in 60 minutes or 1 hour, the minute hand makes an angle of 360 degrees and uh, the distance travelled by the minute hand is the circumference of this circle that is nothing but 2 pi r1. So, in 60 minutes, the minute hand makes an angle of 360 degrees. So, in 1 minute, it makes an angle of the minute hand makes an angle of 360 by 60 that is 6 degrees. And the distance travelled in 60 minutes by the minute hand is 2 pi r1. Here r1 is the length of the minute hand. Now, this is the short hand. Generally, a short hand and a minute hand or a long hand both are in one clock. Here I have shown in two figures because you will understand easily. So, uh, let us take this short hand's length be r2. And uh, you know that um, in one, uh, if it reaches the short hand reaches at one means... Uh, it takes 1 hour and it reaches 2 means it takes 2 hours. Similarly, it takes 12 hours in if it reaches 12 at 12. So, it makes 360 degrees in 12 hours and it uh, the distance travelled by the hour hand is 2 pi r2 in 12 hours. So, see here in 12 hours our hand or short hand makes an angle of 360 degrees. So, in 1 hour it makes an angle of 30 degrees. And the distance travelled in 12 hours by the short hand or our hand is 2 pi r2. And in 1 hour the distance travelled by the our hand is pi r2 by 6. And here r2 is length of the our hand. So the distance travelled by the minute hand in 1 hour is 2 pi r1. And the distance travelled by the our hand in 1 hour is pi r2 by 6. This is type 1 question. The length of the minute hand of a clock is 14 centimeters. The area swept by the minute hand in 5 minutes is dash. So, here the length of the uh, minute hand that is r is equal to given that is 14 centimeters. And here we have to find the area swept by the minute hand in 5 minutes. That means this area we have to find that is nothing but area of the sector. So, here we have to find theta angle. So, we know that in 1 minute the minute hand uh, makes an angle uh, of 6 degrees. So, in 5 minutes theta is equal to 5 into 6 degrees. Here 5 is 5 minutes. 5 into in 1 minute it makes uh, 6 degrees. So, 5 into 6 that is 30 degrees. Then area is equal to theta by 360 into pi r square. This is the area of the sector. So, here theta is 30 by 360 into 22 by 7 into here r is 14. So, 14 into 14. Then you will get 154 by 3 that is 51.33 centimeter square. This is another type of question. The minute hand of a clock is uh, 10 centimeters long. The area of the face of the clock described by the minute hand between 8 am and 8.25 am is dash. So, here the length of the minute hand is given that is r is equal to 10 centimeters and we have to find the area of the face of the clock. Uh, that means area of the sector if the minute hand uh, travels from 8 am to 8.25 am. So, that means the time uh, between 8 to 8.25 am is 25 minutes. So, here uh, theta is equal to 25 into in 25 minutes it makes an angle of theta that is 25 into 6 in 1 minute it uh, makes an angle of 6 degrees. So, 25 into 6. Then area of the sec area of the sector is equal to 25 into 6 by 360 into 22 by 7 into here r is 10 uh, 10 into 10 that is uh, 130.95 centimeter square. This is another type of problem. The hour and minute hand of a clock are 4 centimeters and 6 centimeters. The sum of the distances traveled by the tips in two days is dash. So, here our hand uh, length is 4 cm that is R2 and minute hand's length is uh, R1 that is 6 cm and distance travelled by minute hand in 1 hour is 2 pi R1 and by our hand that is pi R2 by 6. So, in 2 days that is 40 in 48 hours 
the distance travelled by both minute hand and hour hand is equal to in one hour it is 2 pi r1 so 48 in 48 hours that is 48 into uh, 2 pi r1 is 6 centimeters so 6 plus here in 48 hours the our hands distance is 48 into pi r2 is 4 centimeters by 6 so 6 ones are 6 eights are 48 then here in these two 16, 16 pi is common so 16 pi into 36 plus 2 that is 1910.86 centimeters now please do these practice questions And here are the answers.